Okay, we're solving simultaneous equations again. We're using the elimination method again. Uh, this is part three of the elimination method. Remember the basis behind how this elimination method worked. Uh, what we were doing was taking 6x plus 5y plus equals 3 and 5x plus 4y equals 2 and we were either adding or subtracting them in the hope of eliminating uh, either the x's or the y's. Now you can see here that it, this doesn't look like it's going to work. Uh, 6x plus 5x, that's not going to eliminate anything. 5 plus 4y, that's not going to eliminate anything. If I subtract them, it's not going to eliminate anything either. Uh, in the last video, you learned that you could multiply an entire equation by something and then eliminate using addition or subtraction. Now, you might be racking your brain thinking, which one am I going to multiply? Uh, if I multiply 5x and add 4y by something, it doesn't look like it's going to give me anything that looks like a 6 and a 5 and same for equation 1 so I can't do anything to just one of the equations what I could do however is do something to both of those equations uh, let's say I wanted to eliminate the y's I'd look for a common multiple of 5 and 4 in this case 20 and then I'd multiply equation 1 by whatever it took to make 5y equal to 20y, in this case I'd multiply it by 4, and I'd multiply my second equation by whatever it took to get to 20, in this case 5. So we can do that. Um, now equation 1, we're going to multiply by 4, and equation 2, we're going to multiply by 5. Uh, so what's that going to look like? Equation 1 times 4 first of all, 4 times 6x, that's going to give me 24x, plus, uh, sorry, 4 times positive 5y, that's going to give me positive 20y, and 4 times 3, that's going to give me 12. Okay, so that's first equation done. That's equation 1. You can put a little dash there to note that it's changed. Um, now, equation 2, we're going to multiply that by 5. So, 5 times 5x, that's going to be 25x. Now, what else do we have? 5 times positive 4y, that's going to give me 20y. And 5 times 2, that's going to give me 10. Now, you can see we can either add or subtract these. It doesn't... Uh, we can, we've got to add or subtract these. Sorry, label that. Add or subtract these to get rid of the 20y's. So, positive 20y plus 20y, that would give me 40y, so that's not going to eliminate it. I need to subtract these equations from each other. So 24x minus 25x, that's going to give me um, minus 20, 24x minus 25x, that's going to give me negative x. And 20y minus 20y, they're going to cancel each other out. And 12 minus 10, that's going to give me 2. So we know that negative x is equal to 2. Uh, you guys should have learnt that that means that x is equal to negative 2, just by multiplying both sides by negative 1 or dividing both sides by negative 1. Okay, so x is equal to negative 2. We're not finished, however. We need to keep moving here. Uh, we need to sub x equals negative 2 into one of those equations. Neither looks any easier than the other, so I'll just sub it into equation number 1. Sub equation 1, x equals negative 2, or sub x equals negative 2 into equation 1. So 6 times negative 2 plus 5y equals 3. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 plus 5y equals 3. Uh, move the negative 12 over here, we'll end up with 3 plus 12, which is equal to 5y. 5y is equal to 15, which means that y is equal to 15 over 5. y is equal to, you getting there? y is equal to 3. Okay, so finally, finish it off. Our simultaneous solution, our point at which these two straight lines would meet on a Cartesian plane is equal to an x value of negative 2, a y value of 3. Okay, that's solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method.